everyone, this is Diane Cisneros. Today's Tuesday, June 18th, and I just got my paper pumpkin in the mail about an hour ago, and I wanted to show you what we're going to make this month. Um, this is the card that's using our hexagon um, shapes and punches, and here are the instructions. Now, the card that I just made is this one. And uh, it is just loaded with color, dimension. You open it up, you can put your message in there. Um, I made a little mistake here, so I went ahead and just made another one and put it right on top. Now I'm going to show you what came with it. Here's some hexagons in white, yellow polka dot, strawberry slush, print. And this is the rubber that was left over from my stamps. Now I've already put my stamps on and I'm going to take a fresh card and we're going to go ahead and make this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my hexagons out and save them. Um, there's probably enough on that other sheet to do these cards but just to be safe and in case I want to do something different I'm going to save these and stamp on these. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fold it, and I'm going to put my directions here so you can follow along with me. And as you can see, um, I'm going to take the strawberry slush print first, and I'm going to take one out. And as you'll notice, there's one right there. So I'm just going to put it right up against there. And these do come back up, so um, you can move them around if you don't get them in the right place. This one is going to go right up against that pumpkin and the yellow. And then there's another one over here that I can cut off with my scissors. Okay, so we've got that one. That color is done. Now, um, what I'm going to do with the next ones is I'm going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to take the yellow and this yellow. I'm going to put uh, you can put dimension on the strawberry ones too. Just depends on how much you want to put into this. Um, okay, so I'm putting this one up here. So that one's on a dimensional. I'll take another yellow one. I think this is really cute. And it's um, it'll show you, by doing this, you're going to learn uh, some things that you can do with this hexagon punch and the stamp set in the big catalog. I never would have thought to do this. Okay, and then one more yellow down here. Let's see, where is that one? It's right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little piece of scrap paper, put it right here, and stamp on my extra ones that I punched out. And I'm going to take the stamp that came with it. And the color they used is soft suede. And they go from point to point, so I'm going to go... I've already got my fingers all over that one. And you're going to have to poke these off because they do stick. Just lay them on your scrap paper. Point to point. And I don't know how many I need. Three at least. So this is a nice stamp to have. Just to stamp with after we're done with these cards. Okay, so there's three. Now I'm going to use some dimensionals and slide them in there. And one of them goes right here.
and I'm going to put another one here. And one more. Where's my third one? There it is. I'm going to put that over on the side. And this one is hanging off the card. So I'm going to cut. Now if you don't have dimensionals, don't worry about it. The uh, original instructions, they, it doesn't look like they used them. That's just something I have and I wanted to use. So, okay, so there's that. Now, the other stamp that came with this is the Little Heart, and I'm going to use Strawberry Slush carefully and put it in these spaces that are underneath. What a cool idea. So now, the other stamp I got says, well, you can't see it here, but it says, hello to you. And that one also um, is a great stamp to hang on to. And I've gone ahead and stamped this on my Stampamajig. And if everyone will just say a little prayer, we'll hope that, I don't know, sometimes even though you can see it, you don't get it straight. But we're going to go for it. And like I said, my last card, I didn't get it straight. So I, oh, I got it straight. So my other card, I didn't get this straight, so I put that on there. Also, on my other card, I just totally missed this yellow one up top. So I felt like the top was a little empty, so I put a ribbon. But as you can see, I think the card looks best just the way they did it on the instructions. I don't know what they did here underneath. Um, they put hearts underneath, but they didn't show through, and I wanted them to show through. So um, this is the way I put it together. And we also got four nice envelopes that you can stamp on here. You can stamp on the envelope and mail those out. So you're going to get to make four, and I'm sure if you follow Pinterest, you're going to see a lot of varieties with this card. Uh, a lot of people will do some different things. And uh, this is a card that if you have the new catalog and you have the stamp set with the hexagon shapes and then you have the uh, hexagon punch, this is a great card that uh, you can make with just a white piece of paper and a little bit of ink. So thanks for watching. I hope you all are subscribed to Paper Pumpkin. If you want to start getting it, it uh, you have to order it and subscribe by the 10th of, e of the month. And you will get the starter kit first. And then from then on, you will start getting the same kit that I get. Um, so I hope you will sign up for that and follow along with me. And thanks for watching.